on stream. We'll see another really tight combo tree from Inkling as well. Obviously, like I said, big body is really easy to deal with once you get in that advantage. Also for DDD, the Gordon, you're going to see a lot. Or what's the Goro? Goro? Or Gordo. Gordo. Yep. You're going to see Gordo a lot from uh, AOP. Shouts to Updraft. Yeah. <laughs> really, really good uh, King DDD. The OG. There's been a lot. There's been. Oh, yeah. A lot of great DDD. Like, for uh, people saying that character's underrepresented, DDD has had some moments. Right. <sighs> DDD, Inkling, game one. There we go. I'm I'm, I'm guessing we're... Oh. Got the okay. pinkling. I thought we were going to start on a triplet stage, but uh, I guess not. Here we go. Trying to get the jabs up for the forward. He's not going to find it. Down throw fair coming out already. Let's see what we got here. A lot of paint. <laughs> yeah. This DDD is getting a paint job right now. Yeah. For a background shield there too, the cross was really nice too, able to get the down tilt on the other side. Got a small hit, but real slow play starting off here. Looking for a roll of the jump from DDD, gonna get him out of the get him out of the way. Up air, not, not gonna start a juggle using those multiple jumps. I don't really know what to say about this matchup. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very slow, too. And obviously, both players want to pick their approaches safely, too. But I feel like a lot more of the options coming on Inkling's side. So, But AOV is just playing real patient game. It's kind of what you have to do. Wait for your opportunity to strike. Right. Right. Up tilt. Up to go for the up air. No ink here for Inkling. Kuro's going to have to get to the ground and get some. Not going to find no. it. AOV taking an take opportunity of that situation. Oh, Ooh, oh that would have been win. scary. Finding a grab, though. Dropping a deep Gordo. I'm surprised. Ooh. Ah, that's not safe, my friend. Oh, very oh, aggressive option. Coming in with a suck. Is there a yeah, mash? I believe yeah. that's not. Yeah, once that roller hits you, that's where that's where all your momentum just stops. And it can be hard. I mean, if you can mash out, like, Mario Party mashing, uh, then you're a legend to get out of there, because that's not easy to get out. No. Uh, all right. I've seen a lot more patient game from both the players. Yeah, just kind of like patiently throwing out each what they got, but right. like very safely. Yeah, like not over, uh, oh, not overcooking it, you know. Right. Gibson Kuro hold a lot of that stage control though. AOV is being the one in the, the slight disadvantage too, but just more positional and not taking a lot of damage, honestly. Nope. Trying to read the roll in, not gonna find it. The direct oh. grenade not gonna connect on the roll in though. AOV ten take control, finally finding some stage control. You've seen every time he does it, he takes it to the limit. Oh, what a great dash dance there. Going to find the grab. Looking for a downer. Kuro able to get up and jump up out of the way. All right. Oh, Ooh. excuse me? That extension on Force Mesh going to connect. That was pretty nice. Yeah, you saw me. He got caught trying to deal with the Gordo. He's gonna get back on stage. He's covered in a lot of ink. Yeah, too, uh, if he holds this, if he holds this advantage too, not really much to worry about. It'll fade. Yeah, see, he's not getting much mileage off of this ink. Ooh. Oh, that deep there oh. sent upward though. I like that. He went for the belly flop off stage. Ooh, Kuro almost got that down smash to connect. That would have helped him out. Gordo. Uh, oh, he might just get out of that. Yeah. And that's it. That's it for game one. Yeah, caught the jump. Yeah, AOV uh, taking game number one. Very clean. Very clean.
What's going on? It's just a camera thing. Game two. Is there a link switch? Did I hear that right? Yeah. Yeah, the link switch. You did? I wonder what stage we're going to. Kalos. I like this, actually. Right. You now, with Link, there's going to be a lot more projectiles he can use right. like to get advantages off of uh, AOV. Right. And also, too, you saw the jumps coming out from AOV. They were used on platform a lot, too. So when you had those platforms to land on, they were a lot more coverage. But with Kalos being open like this, it's going to be a little bit harder. And it'd be easier to catch out those jumps from coming in from Kuro. Oh. Oh. Straight up, Gordo. Conversion here, shielding yeah. all those hits. Oh, oh. Hits up with the whirlpool. Now, I think Inkling also has a really good projectile coverage, but I think this one from Link is a lot more suited to deal with Gordo because just it's a lot easier to interact with that as opposed to using like Ink Bomb or your Splatter Shot. Yeah. Oh. He went all the way out there. Is he gonna? Oh, yep. See, that's what you're talking about right there. There's a lot more interaction with the that Gordo. I have to even go to ledge. There's the boomerang. Yep, getting the arrow ready. Oh, Come back here. Yeah. That was kind of a scramble situation after he had inhaled the boomerang too. It kind of left Kuro waiting for the next option he could do, and you saw AOV kind of strike after that. Uppy not going to be punished. Actually, getting caught the dash away off of it. <laughs> Blowing himself up and pulling another one here immediately. Nice up tilt to yep. get that stock. Yep. Hit with a forward hit of it, too. Oh. Aww. You got to dance with the cameras on you, man. Right here, up throw, up air juggles here. Has a projectile in hand. Just trying to force an option. Oh. Close quarters combat with that boomerang. Not going to get caught for either player. Not be going to get caught. Yeah, the platform's tight spaces too. You cannot go for. You got to go for broke there sometimes. And coming up short. Oh. I'll say Kiro's doing a good job making his projectile game work. Yeah. Constantly throwing them out, constantly, constantly being aware of where uh, AOV is going, Ooh, especially when he has Gordo on deck. Hoppy, how can he get back? There we are. That rising forward is going to be the ticket. Oh. Ooh, catching the jump there, too. Crow trying to make a comeback happen. Down quite a bit of percent. Oh. Good manipulation of the bomb there. Arrow not going to do too much for him as AOV gets back to the ledge. Ooh, last hit of up smash will do it. Yeah, that was a comeback if I've ever seen one. Still working at very high percents here, too. You see AOV hunting for that stray hit. It's off stage. Now AOV is just trying to see how can I, how can he secure this next stack? Oh. Was that a dash stack? Not too sure. Throwing him off stays though. Ooh, oh. reading the option to air dodge up to, and it will be his demise. So AOV, not too far behind, but stuck at this ledge will be a tough situation, especially if these up air juggles keep happening. There's that, yeah, there's that up, yeah, shield. Yep. Not really shooting the arrows here. Ooh. Oh, another whirlpool. That. We're going to game three, script. Yeah, it was a great up B out of block as well. You see, it's just on reaction to any option he's putting on his shield, it's immediate. For better or for worse, too. You saw him get caught on that left platform to start. Uh, it was somewhere in the first or second stock. Yeah. That um, he missed it, but going, going for it there and going to find it and take the game. Uh, okay, I have the key. So, what would you think for counter pick? You know? Well, let's say we stay on the same character. Yeah, if we do stay on the same character. Right. You probably want something to juggle on. Uh, so landing's gonna be real. Landing's gonna be real tough here too. So it just kind of depends, as we were saying earlier. FD, who's in the advantage? 
And I also think that King DDD's disadvantage on um, FD isn't bad either because of the multiple jumps too. If those combos aren't airtight, you're able to jump out of them a lot easier and you don't have platforms as the as the person in advantage to follow up a lot easier. I gotcha. So, yeah. Yeah. Aw. Oh, best song of the game. Bob. All right, FD, as we start on game three here, already gets a up throw upper juggle. Yeah, you saw Kiro approach a little bit too haphazardly with those projectiles. He's able to run and get the grab, start the up air juggles. That's what I'm talking about here, though. Like, this is that stage for it. Another grab, up throw. Up air. Huh. Oh, we're going to see two of them. Yeah. That was down throw, by the way. Oh, that was? That was oh, my throw. apologies. We're going to catch the go. garage. Once again with the boomerang, landing with the back air to try to take control of the bomb. Forces the option with it. It's going to work out all the same. We saw the Sports Smash game oh. one, and the roll in will be he, the option to beat it as well. He's so good at doing the, the roll ins, you know. Like, like usually you think it'd be an unsafe option, right? I, I mean, when you're telegraphing a forward smash like that, it's pretty much guaranteed not get hit. Unless really? AOV, star unless AOV starts spacing it better for the roll in, but then that gives him the opportunity ah. to get the neutral get up. As he forces option there, forcing his hand, catching the forward air. Kuro tried to go high, did not fly in AOV's world. Caught okay. the jump there off of the suck. Nice conversions here. Got the Dordo on deck. Oh, what a, just just in time. Yeah, what a manly option, honestly. What? What a manly option. Like that, that was like, <laughs> I got this! Yep. Come on now. Grab. Looking for an air dodge, possibly? Oh, again! Again! And he actually loses that stock for it. Right. Also, I like the stage, I guess, for these two characters, because uh, it's a since it's a wider stage, they're gonna live like they're gonna live a little bit longer. Right. Because uh, what's what's the blast zones on here? Are they short or long? Short or big? It's it's a pretty it's pretty moderate. It, it's it's a pretty even keel stage. Somewhere right in the middle, trying to suck that bomb in. Not gonna find it again. Beautiful spacing game from Kuro. Okay, and there's that up B. Yeah, it was a great block string coming in from AOV because he dropped the bomb on him too and he went down with an aerial too, but immediately after it was over, he was able to find the Uffy out of block again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> yep. Reading an option down, not gonna find it. See AOV staying in the air. Contesting with the Gordo again. Uh, the boomerang's kind of been the option for it too because the arrow comes out a bit slow and the bomb is a be better resource elsewhere. So he's using the boomerang to kind of deal with Gordo. Up the other block, out of that dash attack. Yep. Not safe from AOV at all. Big trade though. DBZ? Yeah, it's still a very even game. Ooh, that was so tight because he kept him in block. Oh. You no, know, he kept him in block with the, with the Gordo too, so he's able to just kind of get the forward smash for a breathe. And he gets hit by that Gordo as the punish. Yeah. Yeah. After a very, very <laughs> tight game, or second stock, we will see this final stock go down to 0-0. Zero, zero. Yep. Stock of champions, man. What do you got in you? Approaching with the suck once again, too. He's catching the start up a lot of these projectiles. Looking for a dash tech off of an air dodge away. We saw Kiro jumping. Good dash dance is coming in here. The suck once again, reading the air jump up once again. Oh, the drag down up. He almost got it. He almost got it right there. Yeah. Oh. That would have been the perfect opportunity to have it. Miss the F tilt. Down throw up air. Yeah, Is he gonna get another one? Control, looking for a deep forward air once again. Not gonna find it. Okay, just sucking in the projectiles. Oh man. They're on shield. Gonna be safe as he was able to retreat with it there too. Crossed AOV up on the grab as well. Ooh, that dash tag. Oh, the nair right into the. What was that back air? Yeah, that was back, back air. Yeah. space perfectly. And uh, takes that. Yo, if you didn't Wizzy Pog last time, you're Wizzy.